Hi, it's me again, Sebastian. Today I want to show you my latest PD project. It's 3D modeling with Kinect and Arduino and PD. I did this to check out Kinect's precision and usability for virtual reality applications on one side and on the other to create algorithms to select, move and link objects for multi-touch applications. This is all necessary for developing innovative human-computer interfaces. While working with Kinect, I realized pretty soon that it's quite annoying to percept something very essential, like a mouse click, only from the skeleton data. I made an attempt that makes clicks occur by pointing at an object and then straightening the arm, but this was far too exhaustive after a while. So I decided to add comfortable clicking possibilities with data gloves. I had an Arduino and some resistors lying around, went to Lagerhaus, bought some fancy gloves for 3 euros and soldered these together. Using one analog pin per glove, I get four different currents for each finger state. The Arduino connects with PD using Piduino. Of course, it would be much nicer to have a wireless version of this, it could easily be done using a XB Arduino that sends data over Bluetooth. And a rumble pack would be cool as well to provide haptic feedback. So how does it work? Kinect sends a depth image of the user to Open Knee Night, which tracks the user's skeleton and sends 3D positions of every joint to pure data over OSC connection. The Arduino sends the finger states to PD. In PD, this data is streamed to various patches to serve multiple purposes. First of all, navigation. Essential for 3D modeling is the virtual camera that allows one to move around the objects in virtual space. The finger states 2 and 3 of either hand are reserved for this. With one finger 2 pressed, the camera orbits around its target. With one finger 3 pressed, camera and target move left, right, up and down in screen space. When both finger 3 are pressed, you can zoom in by moving your hands uh, further apart and zoom out by putting them closer together. Also, I added head tracking which moves the camera up, down, left, right, back and front in screen space. Finger 1 is reserved for selection and moving. Here I need to satisfy two different requirements. In one case I want to select by pointing at something at the screen for the 2D menu stuff. For this I made a calibration algorithm that works by pointing at the top left and bottom right corner of the screen. Then only hand positions within this pyramid are used and mapped to screen space. Two cursors are calculated, making a total of three with the mouse cursor. Selection is done by comparing the unit vectors of camera to object and camera to cursor. For the modeling I select things by moving my hands in 3D space. So for this I fix the skeleton's hands in front of the camera to have them moving and rotating with the view. This works by multiplying the skeleton's world coordinates with the camera matrix. The most demanding part was the multi-touch logic that forbids a certain cursor for other objects once one is selected. If you select something and move it around, you don't want to drag everything else on the way with it. So there is many crooks and hacks to avoid unwanted situations in here. The rest was rather a piece of cake. For the modeling I made two D menu points that switch between the four basic operations needed for mesh modeling. Create vertical, create quad face, create tree face and move. When create vertical is on, a select and movable point with a unique ID is created at the hands 3D position when finger 1 is pressed. When create quad face or create tree face, a polygon is created and linked to three or four verticals by selecting them one after the other.
Finally, I needed to save and load the results of my modeling work. I did this using the same syntax as the OBJ format. So the model can be interchanged directly within 3 d Max or other 3D applications. And of course, all of this is double the fun in stereo.